All right, guys, welcome back to more Destiny Losing Tale. And with that newfound ability, you know what that means. Treasure backtrack. All right, so we're back here at the Aurora Village, having to go back to the trial here, because all we need is a simple double jump in order to get that freaking key on that ledge there. Ah, <laughs> Great start. <laughs> the only difference here is that I have to go through this whole thing again. There we go, got it. You saw me get it? Now let's just jump forward to some other stuff. All right, so here we are, um, a room before uh, Lady Tethys, right down here in the caverns. So let's go ahead and have him clear the way a bit. Uh, provided I didn't grab that fruit already. Yeah, because now with double jump we can get to that. I would not have any interference. That'd be great. There we go. It was all there just to get a measly key here. All right. Now I suppose we can just go ahead and just quickly get back over into town here, because of course we still have the snow, as we gathered last time. Bring over to Bobo. And other than that, there really isn't much else we can do yet. Um, I'm assuming that in Chapter 5 we'll get the last ability that coincides with my double jump, which is being able to make use of the air gusts. So... Let's see, where's Bopo? There you are. Dust, you did it! You brought snow! I know how much it means to you, Bopo. Well, I don't have much to offer. Besides from this funny rock, it don't seem to do anything down here in Mud Pot, but it looks pretty neat. Here, it's all yours. Thanks, Bopo. We had our moment together, me and Pa. Taking a walk through the snow, building a fort, Watching all those flakes fall from the sky. I know none of it were real, but I'll always have this memory now, thanks to you. I've just got to be strong now, for Mama. Thanks so much, Dust, for everything. Aww. Well, there you go. So I got myself... Rainbow Resonance Gem. What in the heck? Rainbow. <laughs> what could that mean? Probably lots of things. Uh, but in any case, now let's go ahead and jump on over to uh, another area for me to take a look at. All right, so we're back here at Archer's Pass. And now that we have double jump, we can just easily go over to this. Oh, right, I need to get the fruit first. <laughs> right up this way. Oh, granted, they don't want this to be easy for me. They're all just like a bunch of annoying flies is what they are right now. Just please don't collide into that. Please. Stop laughing! Anyway. I will say that this whole double jump thing does make uh, getting into areas more easier. I mean, not just in general, but there has been one little bit of a sequence where normally you just cannot reach anyway. But in combination of the double jump, as well as doing just a little bit of mid-air attacks, it does give me a little bit more leverage to reach certain spots. All right, so there's that. Now let's go ahead and quickly jump on over to here now. So we need to go ahead and hop down here next. Now, as I stated before here, I should be paying more attention to the notes. Because, uh... I should take a look at the map right now. You can see that, like, oh, the whole path has been uh, fully revealed, right? Uh, no, there's like 90%. 
like the the other ten percent is well you'll see as well as the amount of treasures like they don't really add up really so we need to go ahead and head on over to here because according to the note leap of faith we have to be here on this here headless uh, statue and then we just jump right off of this here hand <laughs> see and we just teleport to this corner of the map that's like three treasures here And a lot of this junk right here is, uh, well, not really all that good. Well, except for this one. Because it has a revival stone in it. Now, if you're curious why is that I was able to know, like, what's in it, well, because I wanted to make sure that the path that I go on is the one that I needed to go on. So I had to do a little bit of a backtrack skirt before I actually recorded it on camera. So that way, I know the intended path and I don't waste much time. Well, other than the off-camera backtrack thing, but besides the point. But yeah, that's it for Archer's Pass. Uh, now let's head back on over to the Souring Meadow. Alright, so this here next spot. Once again, if you've been reading the notes... Oh, hang on a sec. I don't want you zombies to be interrupting things. Anyway, if you read the notes, said something about a rose having to kneel before it. There. Simon Quest style. <laughs> Except there's no tornado involved, which I'm ashamed of. So here we have another friend. Let's open this up, shall we? And that's basically that. <laughs> she has a chainsaw for her hand. <laughs> you know, just like Ash. Evil Dead. <laughs> yeah. And I just found out that you can quickly follow up with a quick attack after that parry. I just kept mashing buttons and that worked. Alright, now let's head on over to the uh, upper path for this map. Alright, so here we are back in the upper path where we got to do this. Doing a little bit of finesse. And to lead over to this area now. And things have gotten now quiet. Alright, wanna jump down here. And now we just teleport back up. Now we head inside here. Yeah, very familiar uh, locale like we got with the other one. We just need to go through a lot of rooms. <laughs> I hear another cage. Here we have the other character. Once again, I don't know my indie games. <laughs> so we have a samurai and another one who is like has a chainsaw for her hand. <laughs> Actually, right now, oh, 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 never mind. You know, I was about to say something, but nah. Well, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to ah, getting over to the mansion. 
All right, back in this here mansion. Just simple double jump just for a freaking key. Hmm. Now I uh, don't know about this here treasure that's right down here because uh, I believe it has something to do with the air vents. I don't remember. I mean, I could go ahead and double check real quick off camera if that's the case. But other than that, uh, we should be good to go having to go ahead and head back over to the Blackmore Mountains. All right, back over here in this here green room, you know, with the shop and all that. So we got here a key. Actually, I want to double check if we have enough for this. Uh, we do. Okay. So we go ahead and double jump over here. Hey, we have a blocky door. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> this is what probably explains about the note being all blocky and rigid. That quality like took like a nosedive, sorta. <laughs> Crap, I forget which way I went. Okay, so we have to somehow get on top of that now. Wait, no, I'm right here. There. Alright. Yeah, I think that's it? Yeah. Uh, we probably jump down. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, it's, it's kind of messed up. And who do we get in here? Another indie character that I at least kind of know just by the character design, but. I think it was, yeah, Fez. Yeah. Yeah, great thing about this is now we have to backtrack through all this again. Well, again. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, that one we jumped down. I wonder if someone probably like mapped the whole layout and how it properly looks. They probably did that. <laughs> or at least we're out of that place now. Uh, but we're not in the clear yet because we still have like one more thing around here. Probably some other double jump thing I probably missed out on. chance to rack up on some things here. Let's see now, could it be somewhere around here? Yeah, it was right down here. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm catching these things now. Ooh. Wind's actually pushing me back right now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and double check back here. I think there's probably something I can get. Hey, shortcuts! Oof. Yeah, you stay away, wolf. Ooh, level. Excellent. And this time we're going to get health. Knowing that the amount of damage these guys do to me. 
This is a quick auto save. There might have been something right here near the top that I probably missed out on. Actually, hold on. Why was there? Oh wait, no wait. I'm not in the, I'm not in the proper room yet. <laughs> oh yeah, it was right. It was right over there. Yeah. Okay. Now we're now thoroughly caught up. So let's get back over here to the. Uh, I guess I'll call it the crossroads. That's over there. Well, climbing up Avalanche. I see we got some room with something in it. Oh, hey. <laughs> I like how there's a safe point just buried. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, time to go down. And climb. Oh! Oh, God. Get on top. There you go. Oh crap, there's more of this. Oh no! I don't know why I thought it was a safe place to go there. Oh. Oh, well, I'm going in this cave now. Frickin' mount climbing adventure. Oh god damn it, I didn't time that. Uh eh, great, I have to loop back around. Give me one moment. Alright, so now we're back here. Let's make sure that is there gonna be another avalanche? Oh, it's taking a pause. Okay. Now we can actually make some more progress. Oh, oh crap. I, I almost didn't see that. Because the blizzards are just like shutting everything down. Whoa! That was quite of a way to die. Death cry right there. Anyway, I'm sorry that if I... When it comes to the treasure backtracking that, I was kind of like getting prepared for that. I know that most of you will like want to see me do this blind, but for the most part, I am doing this blind, okay? Uh, at least when it comes to like going to new map lo locales. Oh, nice. I managed to get that uh, that material drop, and I was right. It was that buffalo hide there. Oh, gave me a little soul drop there. Now, I'm wondering where exactly would I find... Uh, where that next note is because there was a note that's stating about having to uh take a red orb to the very um tip top of the peak so i can only assume at the very top of the map is where i need to go but we'll see now i would actually have to go ahead and break this open because yeah that looks like some stuff here also i've been meaning to go ahead and talk to the shopkeep the great traitor has finally found everlasting peace. The great traitor? You're talking about King? My kind does not utter his name. His actions ended many innocent lives, 
And while his spirit may be absolved now, we remember only his life and the tragedy it wrought. He seemed truly remorseful for his actions. Perhaps he was. Perhaps we were to accept his remorse. This would not bring my family back. Let us not dwell on his wicked actions any more than we must. Very well. All right, we'll send some here. Let's go ahead and quickly sell that little piece of material. Nice. Your trend. Well. All right, pressing on. We did see that key that was over there. And materialized platform. No, that just comes back. <laughs> you know, I just like it when they just like more has spawned in. Yay. Now, what was that over there? Uh, nothing. I don't know, I just wanted to check. How dare you? So anyway, um, if there's something that's definitely worth talking about, if I haven't done that yet, um, so there is some good news for those who are uh, big fans of Dustin and Lizzie and Tail. Um, I happened to come across uh, this here uh, trailer for a game. I, I don't know if it's like out already, but I've definitely seen a trailer of it. And uh, oh my god, I wish I remember what it was called. I think it was called Indie Pogo. And what this game is is basically Super Smash Brothers, but with indie characters. And I think I, uh, when I saw the roster, I happened to immediately notice that Dust was part of it. So I'm like, oh hey, well there's something. <laughs> I wish I could recall some of the other characters that made it into the roster, but uh, I guess that's something to hold over until like you know Ultimate comes out, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put a little bit more into attack. And there really isn't much to this map, so we'll keep on going this way. Oh hey, a thing. Uh, that's the thing that uh, I've been alluding to, which is the orb. So, how does one use it? Well, cause, uh, here's here, let me show you. Whoops. Uh, yeah, here it is. Unique crystalline orb, what purposes does it serve? Well, you can see it has an hourglass uh, thing to it. Well, let's take a look at our notes. Uh, it was not that one. It was the cliff, I think. Yeah. Await the soul carrying a red crystal. Well, that's exactly what I'm, I have done. Do I just kneel before it? Oh, there's our Simon Quest reference. <laughs> it's not kneeling on the tombstone. It was this one. So that makes two Kessel up. Well, that made absolutely no sense. Every moment has a purpose, Fidget. You just have to dig deeper. Yeah, I call bullcrap on that. What the heck? Oh, I, hmm. Well, I'm surprised I was able to see that. I think I know what this is alluding to. I mean, I've seen pictures of the friends, but you know, I just don't know where all of them are at. But considering, I think this is the character from uh, Braid. Because that game involves moving back and forth that alters time, and I do have the keys for it. All right. Yep, there he is. It's kind of weird how it like keeps on distorting it all <laughs> every time I move.
Yeah, just keep on looping that. Alright, now it looks like I have to go over to the right side here. Yeah, here we are. Oh, here's a little shortcut I just did. <laughs> a whoop. Well, we've been being able to get like all the stuff in, in order here. I mean, we are getting the last of the few things for abilities. Oh, crap. Uh, rep. Bye, dude. <laughs> what? He survived. Cheats. Ooh. I pay with my actions. Oh. I missed that jump. Okay, I guess I'll go. Hold on, where are you going? Oh, you just loop around. I thought there was more to it. There is more to it. Another pendant of the marsh, seriously? Actually, hold on, I need to see if I got... Yep, I got materials for it now. And now we equip. There you go. Alright, so we got all the goods here now. Oh, you again. Whoops. Do the thing! Fine. Dust is stronger. You know, I was about to do a fully complete like reference to that thing, that line. Buffalo bards my path, but the will of dust is stronger. Man, they're really just like handing out these here stuff like candy, aren't they? Considering the amount of progress here, I really feel eager just to keep on, like, you know, just trucking. Alright, what was that blueprint? That was... Frozen Blade, a new augment. Holy cow, yes. Let's see, do I have three more? Yes, I do. Hells yeah, more attack. Let's see how much better I do now, huh? Ow. I say it's good if I got a hundred combo. a race. Well, sort of. Ah, made it just in time. Woo, okay, let's not go over there yet. I just wanted to check before I go across. Okay. I don't want to... Come on. Oof. Okay, I just saw it. Alright. This is a nice casual journeys. Oh, no! Oh. I'm going somewhere. Kinda. Sorta! Uh...
All right, so I need to try to double jump so I can nab it and then get out of dodge. Oof. Now let's try this. Actually, I don't know if I was intended to go there. I was afraid there was going to be a dead end and I would die instantly. That'd be pretty suckish. Well, I guess we'll have to. No, that's just, it just appears to be the more dangerous path. But there's this. What you got for me now? <laughs> it was nearly all bees. Ah, it's freaking another warrior's pendant. Ah! Ow. Hello? It's a tent. It don't mean much, because I've already got stuffs. Now we just need to slowly make our way back. Ah, fuck. Why does that do so much damage? Freaking damage numbers, man. So we're definitely getting close to the top here. So yeah, let's go ahead and push this to be a little extra long segment for you all. Because why not? Actually, I won't do that because the other half is full of exposition and it's best for another part. So with that <laughs> abrupt ending, I'll see you all next time.